So today I would love to share with you how I've been growing potatoes in my square foot garden beds for many years. Potatoes are a cool season crop. So for those of you who live in warm climates, you might be able to grow these over the winter as a winter crop. However, for most of us, we experience frost and the potato plant is a frost sensitive plant. Okay, so we'll get into when to plant it here in just a second, but I wanna let you know that there are so many different potatoes that you can grow. I've grown Purple Majesty, as you see here, along with Rose Finn, Apple, Fingerlings to the right there. Russian banana potatoes is another little fingerling variety. And then these are called Red Norland. This is what's called an early variety. And what I mean by early variety is when you go to pick out your potato seed, it will specify whether it's an early, a mid, or a late variety. And early just means that it's going to be ready to harvest in anywhere from 75 to 90 days, mid 95 to 110 days, and late 120 to 135 days. I typically will plant early and maybe sometimes a mid season variety and the reason why I like early is because as you know in square foot gardening we're always pulling our plants out and putting something else in behind it and this maximizes our production so early varieties I can get them planted and harvested by the time I start to put in my summer crops like my tomatoes and watermelons and green beans now you can grow whatever kind of potatoes you want to grow. I'm just sharing with you what I do. And I like to grow potatoes for fresh eating and I don't store the ones that I grow in my square foot garden, though I'm sure you could. But this instructional video is just to share with you what I like to do in my square foot garden. So once you've selected the variety that you want to grow, um, you'll need to what's called chit your potatoes and you need to do this anywhere from about four to six weeks before your soil warms up to 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and our square foot garden beds are raised and of course that's about six to seven inches of soil and it tends to warm up quicker than other like my native soil would only because it's raised and it's a very nice soil blend and it seems to warm pretty quick for me so plan to chit your potatoes anywhere from about four to six weeks before you put them in your soil um, you want to kind of time it to where it's one to two weeks before your last frost date. And that's because potatoes are frost sensitive, even though they are a cool season crop, they are still frost sensitive. So we'll plant them in the ground. And then when that foliage comes up through the soil, it won't be harmed by a frost because the frost will kill the foliage. So chitting your potatoes simply means that you're going to put that seed potato in an area with light but not in the direct sun and it will grow little sprouts. I've read that you should put these somewhere around 50 degrees Fahrenheit. I typically will put these near a window but not in direct sunlight and it's kind of cool there because it's by the window in the early spring and so they do just fine doing it that way. A good seed potato will have about two to three eyes and from those eyes will grow little sprouts. So if you have a potato that has a lot of them growing, you can go ahead and cut that in half and then just put it somewhere for a few days and let it scab over and you can use those as your seed potatoes. I typically do not do this because I mostly grow varieties called fingerlings and they don't they aren't really big enough to cut down and so I just plant whole potatoes but if you're growing certainly like russets or maybe Yukon golds you could probably try this practice I just wanted to show you just in case you want to grow different types of potatoes than what I typically grow now potatoes much like a lot of vegetables like tomatoes and peppers like a slightly acidic soil so your pH should be anywhere between 5.3 to about 6.0 and if you are using the Mel's mix that will be perfect for your potatoes. Now make sure your bed is amended with nice fresh compost before you plant and you'll need to 
as I mentioned earlier, make sure that it is warm to about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, this information is in your book, so you can refer to that. And I, as I mentioned before, I don't use a grid in my garden beds. I like to use these little skewers, which are 12 inches long, to measure off my square. Now, if you don't happen to have compost at the moment, throw some type of organic fertilizer in there, about a tablespoon or two, and work it into your soil. Sometimes I will do that if I'm in a pinch. Also, the last thing that you want to do is plant your potatoes in wet, cold soil. But Mel's Mix is really nice in that it's not ever really saturated. The vermiculite will hold just enough water that the soil needs and the rest of the water will drain away. So that's why I'm stressing making sure that you're using that mix and just make sure it is not cold and wet. We are going to plant four seed potatoes per square. So you'll need to take your chitted potatoes and of course this process of chitting speeds up that harvest by about 10 to 14 days. If you don't chit them, well your harvest might be delayed a little bit. Now put your potatoes in there with the sprouted side pointing up. Usually you'll notice that most of the sprouts are coming off of one end, at least on the fingerling type which I grow. And you'll want to plant these about three inches underneath the soil. So the top of the potato should be at least three inches underneath that soil line. Now if you'll listen closely, that sound in the background are little frogs that are by our pond and they're called spring peepers and they chirp all night long and it's just a really neat sound and I wanted to make sure to share that with y'all. Also make sure you give it a marker so that you don't go back and plant something else over it. I also put down the date that I planted the potatoes and the variety. This soil was damp, it wasn't saturated, but I do not need to water these in, plus we were expecting rain soon. Now here's another example where I planted potatoes and another square foot garden bed where I don't live, but I thought this would be nice as a demonstration because I'm only going to plant one per square just so you guys can see how fast they grow and what it looks like. So I planted these around the beginning of April and this soil was a little bit dry, so I made sure to water it in very deep. Once your potatoes are start to grow, you need to monitor the amount of water they are getting because they will not form tubers, which are the potatoes, if they aren't adequately watered. So once they start growing, make sure they're getting about one to two inches of water each week, either by hand or by rainfall. And I always recommend to put a rain gauge in your garden so that you can see just how much water you're getting. So just about five weeks later, the plant is up and growing. Now these were called rose fin apple fingerling potatoes, and they are really more of a mid to late season, but I wanted you to know that you can harvest your potatoes anytime you really want to. I typically like to harvest my potatoes early, even if they're a mid to late season. Now sometimes you will see your potatoes bloom. They won't always bloom, but a lot of people use this as an indicator that the potato is forming tubers. Um, I actually harvested these potatoes about nine to 10 weeks after I planted them, and that is only because I wanted to eat them as a new potato. Anytime you harvest your potatoes much earlier than the mature date, they are called new potatoes. For instance, these are new potatoes because they are only about half the size that they would be if they were mature. New potatoes are sweeter and they have a very thin skin, and sometimes this is what I like to harvest. Don't confuse new potatoes with a variety. It's new potatoes are not a variety of potato. They are the harvest time of a potato. So your potato plants might get pretty tall, and for that reason, I suggest putting those on the north side of your bed only because that way it won't shade other plants and also put them on the end or maybe on the corner and once they mature and they become ready for harvest that plant will fall over and I'll show you in just a minute that'll let you know it's time to harvest them but you don't want it falling onto your other plants so I always say put it on the 
edge. Now you can also, I just wanted to let you know this, grow them in containers in case you don't have room in your square foot garden. Use males mix. And again, I'm harvesting these a little bit early. You know, the plant has not died over yet. But I, as I mentioned, I do like to have some of my potatoes a little bit early. And so make sure when you go to harvest it that your soil is nice and dry. This is a nice way to harvest your potatoes instead of when they're wet. So try to wait for dry conditions and put those potatoes immediately indoors somewhere where they're not exposed to sunlight. So you don't want them sitting out in the sun once you've harvested them. Sunlight will make them turn green and then they're not edible. So one of the ways that you can tell your potatoes are definitely ready to harvest and they are mature is the foliage will die over. It'll turn yellow. Now you can go ahead and cut off all that dead foliage and just leave them in the beds until you're ready to harvest them about a week or two, not too long. Um, cutting off the foliage until you're ready to harvest them will prevent disease from spreading to your tubers. However, you can just go ahead and pull them out too and go ahead and harvest them, which is what I like to do. Also, if you're letting your potatoes grow to maturity and you're not harvesting them at a new potato stage, you'll want to make sure that you're keeping your potatoes covered with soil. They need to be in darkness and not exposed to sunlight, as I mentioned, because they will be inedible if they turn green. So here are some Russian banana fingerling potatoes, and these were really good. Now these were grown to maturity. The skin was a little bit um, thicker on here rather than thin, like when I usually harvest um, them at a new potato stage. And just as a side note, potatoes are actually called a tuber and they're not a root vegetable. Some people confuse potatoes and say they're a root vegetable. Um, not to get too technical, but root vegetables are plants like beets and carrots where that tap root actually forms a vegetable. Um, sweet potatoes and just regular potatoes like this, they are part of a stem and so this is just an enlarged part of a stem and that's what's called a tuber. So once you've harvested your potatoes, I like to eat these right away within probably a week. I have a family of four so we'll go through these in no time. So I go ahead and I wash them. However, if you're growing a storage type of potato, um, don't wash your potatoes until you're ready to eat them. And then I usually like to just separate them into size so that the smaller ones will all cook at the same time and the larger ones tend to cook at the same time. And if you enjoyed this video, I have a lot more over on my channel. If you just click that playlist button there and look for the how to plant vegetables in a square foot garden. There'll be some more over there for things like carrots and beets and tomatoes and beans. I hope you find that helpful and also while you're over there you can check out my playlist section for recipe ideas for potatoes. I just love cooking with my fresh potatoes and so there are a lot of ideas for you once you harvest yours. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.